Hello everyone, welcome to Miss Lu Musi Life. Kangaroos live in Eastern Australia. Did you know that the Qantas Airlines has been using the iconic kangaroo as their logo? As we know, they can jump very high. For example, red kangaroos regularly leap five feet, and the, their highest jumps are said to be around 10 feet. Is that amazing? For today's music, it is called the kangaroo song. There are two sections in this song. In the first part, the melody jumps high and low, just like a kangaroo. My hands will show you at different heights based on the melodic interval. At the second part, when the melody gets smoother, I will roll my hands with a swinging motion. Are you ready to join me with Miss Lu's musical movement? In music, the bouncing sound will relate to the category of articulation. Ms. Lu would like to focus on the terms of staccato and the legato. What is a staccato? It describes music performed in a short and a detached style. What is legato? It describes music performed in a smooth and a connected style. Now, Miss Lu will introduce a famous piece about animals, which is called the Carnival of the Animals. It is a musical suite of 14 movements by the French composer Camille Saint-Saëns. Do you realize 2021 is exactly 100 years after he passed away? This piece was composed in 1886 while he was 51 years old. Each movement imitated the sounds by different animals' characters. In this suite, most people are probably more familiar with the swan. However, we will listen to kangaroo movement from the Carnival of the Animals. To conclude today's lesson, number one, there are two sections in the kangaroo song. One is bouncing character, which is in staccato articulation. The other is a smoother, which is in legato articulation. Number two, 
Getting to know a famous movement kangaroo from the Carnival of the Animals, which was composed by Camilla Sinson. I hope you liked today's lesson. Are you guessing which animal will be our next episode? Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.